Okay, so this is English 201, uh, week one, part six. I really should move on to irony at this point, but I'm not going to because I'm having too much fun. Uh, let's, because metaphors, again, these are these are really, I, I, I told you, I boiled this class down to five key terms, really four, really three. But but the the I did that because they're real good terms. They come in handy a lot. Once you get the hang of them and you get good at them, you're going to notice a lot of shit. So let's let's talk about how Superman is a metaphor for Jesus. Now, this is a, this is one of the most important points to me because it shows you the ways in which not only can one thing be a metaphor for something else, but the same thing can be a metaphor for two different things. And this is how you get that feeling that literature is up to how you see it. Um, and that's not quite right. It's not like Superman is not a metaphor for, um, I don't know, crickets. That, that's just stupid. Um, but the, but the, 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 but he, he is a metaphor for immigration. He's also a metaphor for Jesus. Why? Um, and sometimes the movies actually make this metaphor. They do this metaphor. And there's two movies in particular, Superman Returns. That's a bad movie. Don't watch it. Um, and also Man of Steel a little bit, which is also a bad movie. Don't watch it. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you some clips from those. I'll, I'll put the I'll put the tra- I'll put the trailer I'm thinking of for Superman Returns um, into the playlist so you can see it. But what ha- one of the ways of thinking about Superman? What is so? If I'm saying Superman has what does Superman have in common with Jesus? And by the way, you have to just kind of notice this. Um, how might you notice it? Well, I'll tell you this: in Man of Steel, um, like Superman at one point goes to a church, and in the church, he has a conversation, and over his shoulder is a stained glass window with a picture of Jesus. And if you look at it, you will notice that Jesus is wearing a big red cape. Now, if you're paying attention to the movies, when you see that moment, you're going to be like, hey, wait a minute, who else has a big red cape? Hey, Superman's got a big red cape. And then you might be like, is this movie making a connection between Superman and Jesus? That's ridiculous. They're definitely not, oh, hold on a minute. What does Superman have in common with Jesus? Well, what does he have in common with Jesus? Well, Superman, um, like Jesus... Um, was sent to our world by his father. That's something. He came from the sky, from the heavens. Um, why? Because he was sent here to save us. Um, and in the movie trailer, if you watch the movie trailer, uh, you'll literally hear um, two very biblical, heavy biblical sounding lines. Um, one is where Superman's father says, um, I have given the world my only begotten son. Uh, that is a Bible phrase referring to Jesus. Um, uh, but, but in this case, in the Superman trailer, it's Superman's dad talking about sending Superman to earth. The other thing is that Superman at one point says the world cries out for a savior. Why? Because what they want people want to be saved, um, and Superman saves people like Jesus. And a lot of my students, oh, by the way, think that I'm like very religious because I talk about Jesus a lot. But I'm 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 summarizing for you. Um, I'm not like a religious person, but I you know when it comes up, I, I know enough about it to talk about it. Also, when you watch the trailer, please notice this. One of the things that Superman does is he 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 comes down to Earth with his he he, he you'll see it in the trailer, but he lands on the rooftop to talk to Lois. But he's like this. Um, which is this famous Jesus pose, and he sort of lands on the roof like this, um, arms spread, legs together. Um, it's a it's a very Jesusy on the cross kind of pose. And if you've seen Superman Returns, you also know there's another big major connection with with Jesus and Superman. They both die, and they are both resurrected. That happens in Superman Returns, and it also happens in Man of Steel slash Justice League. Justice League, also a terrible movie. Do not see it. Mm. The point is in both of these. The, 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 there's a lot of connections, right? That they're sent, that they're, they're, they come from the heavens. They, they have supernatural powers. They were sent by their father. They save people. They die. They are resurrected. Sometimes they both wear big red capes. Um, so this is, this is an important part of metaphor is thinking about the number of different things that it can be a metaphor for. This is where literature gets really interesting because you can have a debate or you can notice that, well, this is actually a metaphor for this. And I think, no, it's a metaphor for that. And it can be a metaphor for both. Um, okay. Whew. Metaphor, five key terms, two of them we got figured out. That was summary and metaphor. Now, this takes practice because sometimes the metaphors are real easy and they'll tell you what two things are being connected. But sometimes you have to notice yourself what things are similar. And you can want, you can, people read Superman comic books their whole life and they never notice that thing about how he's a little like Jesus. And they never notice that thing where he's a little bit like um, an immigrant. 
But once you're able to notice something like that, then you can start thinking the bigger thoughts about it. Notice how much more interesting it is to talk about that than to summarize. It's so much more interesting than to go, well, you know, Superman, his planet's in trouble, and he flies down to Earth, and well, he, he fought Lex Luthor, and he punched that guy right in the face. And You see, that all happened. That's what they're like. He saves people. Lois Lane falls off a building. Superman swoops in, picks her up. It all happens. But to me, the interesting thing is to talk about shit like metaphor. That's fun. That's ec- I mean, not, summary's fine. I, summary, look, summary's important. I don't want to trash summary. You, you're never going to get anywhere if you can't summarize. But summary's like where you get started. A lot of people, they stop at summary. They never do anything else. Um, let's do something else. Okay, let's get to our next key term, our third key term, irony. Irony is tricky. Irony is a hard one. Once again, I mentioned with metaphor, there's about 10 different kinds of metaphor, 100, it's like 100 different kinds of metaphor. There's like seven different kinds of irony. Do I care if you know any of that? No, I do not. I just want you to be able to tell me if something is ironic or not. Now, one way of thinking about irony is it is the opposite of metaphor. Metaphor tells you what is similar. Superman is similar to Jesus. Superman is similar to immigration. Godzilla is similar to... um, Godzilla is similar to America. Christmas is similar to the apocalypse. I didn't even do that one. <laughs> because Santa Claus is like God because he knows the, he's able to, he knows who's been good and who's been bad and he rewards the good and he punishes the bad. Uh, and he has a big white beard uh, and he swoops out in the night and he judges everyone. So it's, it's like the end of the world, but for little kids. Um, Okay, so let's let's go back to irony. So metaphor is about similarity. Every time you have a metaphor, you're taking two things and you're saying what's similar about them, right? Irony is the opposite. Every time you have irony, something is opposite to something else. Metaphor says these two things are similar. Irony says these two things are totally different. I, 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 can't, I only have one hand free at a time because I have to hold the stick, but I, usually the way I teach this is metaphor is like this. Um, met- metaphor is like this. It puts things together. Irony shows that things do not go together. Irony is about stuff that does not, that are opposites. Or co- Irony is about opposites and contrast. Metaphor is about similarity. Okay, let's talk about irony. Simplest type of irony that everybody, I mentioned there are many different types of irony. Um, so students, for example, they, they know metaphor, and then there are types of metaphor. Maybe you know simile. Maybe you know personification. There's a lot of different kinds of irony, too. One kind of irony people are real familiar with is sarcasm. Sarcasm is irony. Now, a lot of people know sarcasm is irony, but they have a hard time explaining why. Let's talk about why. I mentioned that irony is about opposites or contrast. So sarcasm is irony. Why? Because if I get into a car crash and I get out of my car and I go, Oh, this is just fucking great. That's irony. It's sarcasm. Sarcasm is a type of irony. Irony always involves contrast or opposites. So what is being contrasted or what is opposite to what with irony? What is opposite to what in the situation of sarcasm is that I what I said, that's great, is the opposite of how I feel that's not great. See how those are opposites? That's irony. Metaphor is about similarity. Jesus is similar to an immigrant. Irony is about opposites. If I say that's, oh, this is just fucking great. I said that's great, but I meant that's not great. What my meaning and my words are opposites. Notice that's different from lying. When you lie to somebody, you may say the opposite. Someone will say, do I look good in this? And you would be like, uh, yeah, uh, but you want them to believe you. With irony, I don't want anybody to be confused. When I get out of my car and I go, that's just fucking great. I'm not trying to trick the person. I actually want them to know how pissed off I am. Um, but I do it by saying the opposite. Now, I say it in a different tone of voice. I toss the word fucking in there. But the point is, is that I'm able to communicate. If I get, if something terrible happens and I go, oh, that's just fucking fantastic. I said fantastic, but everybody knows I meant the opposite of fantastic. That is Sarcasm, and sarcasm is a type of irony. Irony always involves contrast. These, this is the, you gotta remember this every time. When you have metaphor, you gotta say what is similar. Two things are being compared. You gotta say what's being compared to what, and what do they have in common? That's metaphor. For irony, you gotta say this is the opposite of this. Every single time, every single time. All right, I'll see you in the next video.